Welcome to Garage Science. This video is going to mesh a little bit of electronics theory with the deep satisfaction of blowing stuff up and or lighting it on fire. Here are the values for the resistors we'll be using for this experiment. A few key terms to keep in mind in this video are power dissipation, meaning electrical power dissipated as heat, exponential as it relates to rapid increases or decreases in value, and linear as it relates to a fixed and steady increase or decrease in value. To blow up a resistor, a quick analysis of voltage, current, and resistance is necessary. There are two governing equations we'll need. The first is Ohm's law, the second is the power equation. And by substituting Ohm's law for voltage or current, we can get several other forms for this equation. Next we'll consider resistors connected in series. Notice that current is the same for both resistors, and that changes in current or voltage create an exponential increase or decrease in power dissipation. Also notice that resistance creates a linear increase or decrease in power dissipation. We'll also consider resistors connected in parallel. Notice this time that voltage is the same for both resistors, and that voltage and current still have an exponential effect on power dissipation. Similarly, resistance has a linear effect on power dissipation. Before we cover the experiments, here's a quick note about my power supply's max output specifications. The experiments we'll be performing will be as follows, a half watt 1 ohm resistor all by itself, two half watt 10 ohm resistors in parallel, three half watt 15 ohm resistors in parallel, four eighth watt 10 ohm resistors in series, three eighth watt 10 ohm resistors in parallel, and one quarter watt 1000 ohm resistor in parallel with one half watt 1000 ohm resistor. For the last experiment though, we'll try a special case. Consider the challenge of getting two different sized resistors to burn out at the same time. What do their resistance values need to be? We'll wire them in parallel so the voltages will be the same. We'll do some algebra and find out that the resistor with twice the watts needs to have half the resistance. The resistors I had on hand were not perfect for this experiment, but we're close enough. Take note that the watts we'll be dissipating for each experiment are significantly higher than the rated wattage for each resistor. Because of this, the resistors will not be able to dissipate that much heat and will inevitably burn out or blow up. Now time to put theory into practice.
Please like this video if you enjoyed watching and leave me a comment about what you like the most. Also remember to support this channel by subscribing. Thanks for watching.